I did a deal uh, at the mall for electronics a while ago, and it was back in high school actually, and it was just sitting in my closet, you know, and I figured I'd actually get rid of it, but I, I couldn't just get myself to just throw it out, so I figured I'd use it. I mainly just use it for the caffeine. Oh, well, that's this is somebody else, it's not him, but here, show it again. <laughs> so they dance. And then somebody else dances like this. Actually, I can't do that, everyone. Come on. Bro, just don't post any- Literally have an addiction to that being. Look yeah. here. Well, it's not my fault that I owned this shirt since middle school, and I got this not too long ago. So you need to get- I'm not gonna throw the shirts away. So I'm put gonna... some kind of avenge stamp on your jeans. Nah, dude. Once I get more tattoos, it will be less noticeable. You're gonna get like the bejeweled jeans. What is that? All right, here we go. Five nine Magnum. Let's do this. Not a five nine. Oh man, very comfy seats. Whoa, what the? Yeah, gotta look at the ceiling. Let me turn it on. Gotta let the glow plugs warm up. Nice. Well, this definitely sounds pretty nice, man. Let's get the window down on this nice hot day. You have to put my window down. Oh. Because, uh, electrical problem. Here we go. 5.9 Magnum. Man, those things are ugly. Yeah, they are. Oh, whoa, what? No headrests, all right. Yeah, the headrests in here are less than adequate for modern safety regulations. It's because you just, oh. You feel me? Like, you, yeah. you you'd be, be in a wreck, it wouldn't be very good. So you got a solid axle on this, right? IFS in the front, solid in the rear. Here we go. Oh, yeah, man. Sounds pretty good. Oh, there's Mike all the way by the trucks, finally parking in a normal location. Look at all the trucks over here. You see all those? That I do. Look at that L5 PD Max. Elaborate. The newest Duramax. Uh, it has the hood on it, which actually is well, functional. Well, that's GMC, but they're the same thing, pretty much. Yeah, it's functional too. It is. And that's when you, yeah, and that's when you know it's an L5P. All right, here we go. No, oh, there's the truck. There's Mike. All right. Huh? What? Pop evil. Yeah. See if I can swing this in here. Look, get a little, get a little jiggy bug on that. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, Is that good? Sure. Giant <laughs> bull by the end of it filled up. Yep, another day, another half a cent. Where is it at? Uh, there's no morning. I started talking to us. Oh, no, it's fine, dude. Look at all these trucks over here. Yeah, he was like, "What are you guys doing out here?" And Dirk's like, "Got very shy." He's like. <laughs> Alright guys, back in the sill, just started her up, about to head home. I think we're going to get to that mod today, so that's pretty cool, nice sunny day, and I know the weather is going to get actually a lot worse, so I think it's definitely the day to do it. Everyone else already left, I was kind of chilling here a little bit. Yes, I love that clean sound of mud terrain tires. They say that, you know, mud tires don't last that long. Let's say you, you get 30,000 miles out of them. Still gonna get at least a good two years out of your tires. I mean, I mean, I, I kind of see that as worth it. Goes, lift the Jeep. Too soon, it's kind of corroded in there on the corner. That's not good. 
Oh, we say aluminum doesn't rust. Well, Chevy makes it out of steel, so I'm going to get something to clean up this little bit of dirt, even though it's kind of under and we'll never see it. Just for the peace of mind, right? <laughs> Got you up on the ladder, now I'm going to clean all this off real quick. Good enough to get all that out. Bar on GM action with some clear coat. Still good. I'm just gonna clear coat all that up. Where it was rusting and all this exposed metal for whatever reason is just some touch up paint actually for the ram, but it has a little thing of clear coat on the bottom. So I figured it easy on here. But dry long enough, so I'm gonna plug this in. We're gonna do a little test run. Hopefully this actually fits. There we go. Now, all right, so I want you guys to yell and let me know if it's actually working. I'm gonna hit the brakes, also put the reverse on. Let me know. I didn't notice it at first, but look at that. That's freaking sweet. Look at that, I hope you guys can see here. Let me see. Look at that. If you look right here, you have to pull this strip of adhesive off and then it goes, it masks onto that. So I guess it gives it a better seal than factory. I'm not really sure. And that's how you get it in. But it's an easy installation, guys. Got it for a fourth of the price of an OEM. So it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to pull this off. It's looking like a tight seal to me. There we go. Now I'm going to worry about the screws. Hold on, now let me cut the battery real quick. All right, now for the screws. Retain factory screws. Hoping that's a tight seal, and I think it is. Perfect. All right. Now the final touches. There we go. Look at that. That looks sweet. Now here's a little comparison between the old and the new. There's the old. Big difference, man. Holy cow. I think it's I think it's sat like that. Yeah. So that's a huge difference, man. Look at that. I'm just gonna set this right here. Move back a little bit. Holy cow, that looks sweet smoked LEDs so yeah I do fully need to get the tail lights on this as well because now we got smoked LEDs smoke fog lights smoke third brake light tail lights is like the last thing man let me just clean all this up real quick there we go Get that out man one last look at that oh my gosh especially if those LEDs in the middle are red that's so sweet